What's up everyone, this is Marky2200 here and welcome back to my Need for Speed testing series where today we'll be ranking all the classic muscle cars in Need for Speed Pro Street from worst to best based on their drift capabilities. All the cars have been equipped with stage 3 performance and handling packages and have been reduced when necessary, this is certainly the case and all the info will be in the description down below as well as their tuning as all the cars have been tuned properly. With that said, let's see which of the classic muscle cars in Need for Speed Pro Street is the worst for drifting and then at number 9 we have the Shelby GT500. It managed to get a score of 7594 points which is actually not too bad. This car is actually quite good at drifting, it's just not amazing at scoring points. Or well, at least not compared to the rest of the muscle cars, given that this is the first class of cars that I've tested for drifting. We don't know if 7594 points is bad or just decent for drifting. At number 8 we have the Roadrunner which scored 8475 points which uh, yeah it's pretty much the exact same story. It's just clearly not as good as scoring points as the other classic muscle cars. Word of rules actually for drifting. Um, first rule is that you should always reduce your tires to stock because well for drifting you don't want a lot of grip so upgrading the tires doesn't really make any sense. And the second rule is that you want to pick between one of two suspension stages, that being either stock suspension or stage 2 suspension. Because for some reason, the higher you put your suspension stage, the lower the points you will be scoring. So suspension 1 and 3 is something that is just generally not worth it, so you either be picking stage stock or stage 2. Stage 2 will have better handling, but you will be uh, scoring fewer points. However, at least in the classic muscle cars case, stage 2 is mostly the preferred option because the classic muscle cars don't really handle well to begin with. So if you select the stock stage, you will be getting absolutely abysmal handling. The only car in this list that I've put stock suspension on is the Hemikuda. All the other cars will have stage 2 suspension. With that said, we're already at number 4 and we've already achieved 13,000 points, which is actually you know, quite amazing for drift cars in general. At number 4 we have the uh, Chevelle, 13,016 points, that is quite amazing. Moving on to the podium places, at number 3 we have the C2 Corvette with 13,663 points, which is, you know, genuinely amazing. The C2 Corvette handles nicely and gets a good amount of points. It's, I, I would say it's the best handling muscle car for drifting. Uh, it handles nicely, it snaps corners uh, really easily. And even though it handles nicely, I still wouldn't pick stage stock because I managed to get, you know, a bit fewer points. But sometimes the differences in points isn't really that noticeable. And if that's the case, you might as well use stage 2 suspension because that handles better and you'll have a more pleasant time. At number 2, quite surprisingly, you've seen that we have the Dodge Charger, which scored 14,041 points. Yeah, surprisingly, it's very pleasant and it's amazing to drift. Yeah, what can I say, it's just an amazing surprise. I've never used the Charger for drifting and, well, to be honest, I should. It's amazing. However, at number one, it wasn't that surprising to me. We have the Camaro, and I say it wasn't that surprising, and that's because when I did a 10k RPM test, this car was also at number one. And the reason why it's number one is, well, it's clearly the best car scoring points. We have 14,604 points, which is just genuinely amazing for a drift car. So yeah, it was actually quite, Pleasant to see that the classic muscle cars overall, I would say, are very good at scoring points. Except for the bottom two, all the classic muscle cars scored more than 11,000 points, which is, you know, in general, just amazing. This car is amazing at scoring points and handling-wise, it's pretty good as well. So those were all the classic muscle cars in Need for Speed Pro Street for drifting and the classic muscle cars in general. Next class will be the modern muscle cars. If you've liked this video, consider giving it a thumbs up and if you wish to stay updated on all my future videos, consider subscribing. This has been Marky2200 for now, thank you so much for watching 
and hope to see you in the next testing video where I'll be ranking all the modern muscle cars in Infantry Pro Street from worst to best based on their grip capabilities. See you then, take care.